Hey guys, uh, how's it going? All right, well, um, I had a nice little holiday, much needed with my family, um, but I'm ready to get back into it and uh, get back into the charts and get back into the market. I uh, feel a bit disconnected right now. Um, I tried to follow the market as best I could while I was gone and stay up to date with the chats and what was going on in kind of the MJ sector and stuff. Um, but yeah, I really do feel a bit uh, out of the loop almost because, you know, it's just like anything. You take some time off from it and uh, you got to you gotta ease back into it. So uh, I didn't make any trades um, while I was gone. I haven't made any trades uh, Thursday and Friday since I've been back. I'm just kind of going through some content and working on some stuff um, to provide some more content to you guys. So just uh, Jordan and myself, um, mainly Jordan came up with this cheat sheet um, of how we find our momentum trades um, in the NASDAQ. So we think it was really great. We put it out with um, onto our TCG Flight School Facebook group. Uh, I hope everybody's had a chance to look at it. I'm also gonna do this video for YouTube so you guys can kind of go through it. And I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things on here and, and just show you the actual platform so you can kind of familiarize yourselves with it if you haven't actually gone and checked it out for yourself. So um, Jordan um, is the main user of Finviz and myself, I use QuoteStream. I've used a little bit of Finviz and Jordan starts to use more QuoteStream as well um, as we share the platform and we're both just getting more and more comfortable with finding these stocks um, and uh, you know looking for setups and looking for plays so Finviz I'm just gonna go through the um, cheat sheet real quick with you obviously some of the basic requirements we look for under 30 million share float um, we want low float stocks because those are the ones that move we want to see a high turnover in shares and share volume throughout the day and that's the best way to get volatility and get the get the share price moving up or down um, under uh, $10 is kind of our uh, cap on share price just due to what our accounts let us leverage and just how big our accounts are. Remember, we're both starting out as traders. Uh, we don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. We both have around you know two to $5,000 accounts um, split up between the TFSAs or USD NASDAQ accounts um, that are cash margin. So you know I personally like two to three dollar stocks that I can take you know relatively decent size on and uh, try and see some nice plays come out into fruition and uh, you know try and mitigate my risks and and uh, keep my losses tight so looking for over 200k volume on the daily obviously we want to get um, you know we want to start seeing some volume piling in nice and early in the morning um, that will show that uh, you know it's all eyes on that stock or not all eyes on that stock but a bigger audience on that stock uh, volume is audience so if you got no volume on a stock you know, there isn't people watching it, there isn't people trading it. We need, as traders, as momentum traders, as any type of intraday trader, we need volume and volatility to create price action that we can capitalize on and, and you know, take some profits off the table. So uh, also looking for some RSIs below uh, 70. Definitely don't want it to be overbought when you jump in. And a catalyst is nice. If there's a catalyst in the morning, there's a catalyst after hours, um, you know, before the close previous day, that gives you a chance to really confirm why the stock is gonna move the way it is. Uh, obviously, earnings can be very volatile. Um, we can see earnings or stuff get baked into a price, depending on if there's some sort of leak or, um, uh, you know, early early warning signs that that was what's going to happen. But uh, sometimes if there's an analyst beat on earnings, then, you know, we can see some crazy, crazy moves in a stock. Um, most of the time, they're just short term uh, because traders will get in there and they'll push the drive the stock right up. Shorters will come in at the top and they'll drive the stock back down or profit takers will take uh, their money off the table and, and we'll see the stock price plummet. So I'm just going to go through Finviz real quick. Here's the Finviz scan, uh, gainer scan. You can go on, you can take this TCG flight sheet um, small cap wash list off the TCG um, Facebook group. I will also post a link to the Facebook group um, below in this video so you can get over there and grab this. It's in the files section or you can just scroll down and you'll probably be able to find it um, relatively close in the uh, news feed. So I'm gonna jump into Finviz here, Finviz here and just go through a couple of things. So obviously uh, pick your NASDAQ, um, small under two bill, market cap, performance we're looking for day up. This is for the gainer scan. So um, I've got it set into a preset already. Um, performance two, we're also looking for over 5% of the day. Um, because we don't want to get into a stock that is, uh, you know, 
it, it's not so much that we don't want to get into it when it's already high in the percentage, but we don't, we, we're trying to find stocks early in the morning or early in pre-market or early um, or from after hours movement that are going to move within the first couple hours of the bell. So here, uh, obviously, we want change up. Um, you have all sorts of different options. You can go up by percentages, you can go down by percentages, you can go custom, which is elite only. I haven't signed up for the full Finviz. Um, current volume over 500K. So there's lots and lots of different options here. I'm not gonna go through all of them for all the different scans that we make. I just wanna show you that uh, these are the types of options you have. So you can start to play around with these and build your own scans, or you can copy what we do and you can build uh, you know, a scan exactly the same as ours. You can set it and save it into your presets here. I just have the basic account. You can pay and get elite and get a little more out of this. Um, but you know, there's also some signals and there's also some stuff you can look for here. Um, and you know, you don't even have to select your own scans. You can just play around with the presets, earnings before, earnings after, some inside buying, top gainers, top losers, most volatile, most active, overbought, oversold. Those are two good ones. Um, if you're looking for, you know, you want to try and find a bottom bounce play, or maybe you want to try and find some sort of short um, back down. So um, they've even got some trending in here. Uh, wedges up, wedges down, tri triangle and ascending. Oh, and I noticed this over here before, um, a candlestick. So if you're on the daily, you can start to find some candlesticks. And, you know, you can really start to use Finviz to use... Um, apply your technical analysis for scanning, not so much just, um, realistically, most scanning is is quantitative data. Um, it's, it's technical analysis, but it's not so much actually charting. It's technical analysis based off of um, combination and interjection of, of price action through volume, um, share float size, through share price, um, and then yes, you can look at the charts and you can start to pick patterns out of that. But you really don't have to if you don't want to for, um, well, not so much that you don't want to, but you really don't have to. You can, you can start with this stuff and then you pull up the charts and then you have a look at the chart and see where they're at um, and uh, decide and figure out if there is some sort of pattern at play. Is there some sort of bullish sentiment or bearish sentiment and a way that you can... Um, a way that you can apply uh, what you've just found to the charts and bring it all together to find a play, an in-play stock or ticker. So um, again, uh, trying to compile my thoughts here and, and lay it out for you guys so you can kind of go through my thought pattern um, as I'm making it. So another program that I use personally is QuoteStream. This is an account that I'm signed up for. It's a platform that you download onto your computer. You can also use it on your um, on your mobile phone, and it is uh, it's pretty good. Um, it has charts, all sorts of different ways and different screens you can set up. High volume markets. Um, you can get your level twos and your depth. You can get news up here, current news, um, pre market. This is what I like to look for, pre-market and after hours. I just called this tab pre-market because it's usually when I scan is in the pre-market. Um, but you also have, so you have, you can scan in market hours, pre-market or after hours. Um, and this is actually what I use the most is this is my watch list. These are my former runners here. These are all stocks that I've picked up through momentum traders or myself that I've seen big, take big, big moves in the past. Um, these stocks are very well known by a lot of traders. Um, so I always keep an eye on them and I always keep them um, uh, tabs to uh, the highest gainers at the top for shipping and for the former runners. This is the weed sector that I keep an eye on. These are the tickers that I watch. I don't have a huge collection of them. I do have uh, a bigger collection of MJ tickers um, on this side, but for the most part, I just keep the basic ones. And then down here, I kind of have a commodities um, watch list as well. So not so much about watch list right now, but we're going to talk about what I look for here in the pre-market. So um, MTBC, this has kind of been in play for the last three days um, on the trader side. And as you can see, it has made some relatively big moves, especially on the first day on the 26th. We had a low and open of 44 cents and we shot up to a high of $1.50 and closed at 122. I was traveling this day back from home. I did catch it on Twitter and talking to Jordan 
that uh, this stock was in play, but I didn't get a chance to play it, and uh, I hadn't researched it. I didn't know support levels. I didn't know resistance levels. I really had no idea about this stock. So, um, but just wanted to show you here that these stocks are coming up based on my percent gainers in the after hours. So this is Friday after hours till 8 p.m. This is these are the stocks. These tickers made these types of moves. So ARNA traded two million shares. Um, it's up 5.9% currently at close the after hours. $1.42 was the last, and the high was $1.39. Don't quite understand that, so let's just have a look at it real quick. And this is the type of move um, that it made into the close, and usually uh, quote stream unfortunately doesn't show me after hours charting, at least not with the package that I have. So I usually go into Quest Trade, and I pull up the after hours chart but unfortunately tonight I can't get into question so you will see here that I am oh I can't get into question so I I'm not going to open it up now but uh, that is what I usually do and I'm going to make another video um, actually doing a search on us just one or two stocks i just wanted to show you today just the basic platforms that we use um, and then i'm going to make another video on you know how i actually pick this and then i start to chart it out in the after hours and then i chart it out in the pre-market and then we trade it so that video should be coming out probably in the next week or two look for it um, on youtube um, or in the facebook group but for now i just wanted to show you kind of the basic platforms you can get an idea of them you can see what they look like and uh you know get a little bit of our uh mine and jordan's thought pattern of what we put into trying to find our stocks each day so um i will be looking at i will be looking at all of these same stocks uh sunday night when i make my watch list with jordan and uh these will these numbers and these stocks will still be the same because after ours is closed and it is now the weekend so these numbers should be the same when i check sunday night and I'm pretty, pretty, pretty certain they will be. So ARNA, 2 million shares traded after hours. I would imagine that this is possibly due on some sort of earnings. Um, but there you go. See, I can pop into the news real quick. I did notice down here the outstanding shares is 321 million. So I probably won't trade it based on that fact because that would mean that the float size is probably um, very significant to that outstanding share size. So... Uh, that's all I got for tonight, guys. Um, pretty tired still, and uh, this weekend I got a little more studying to do and catching up with the market. I'm going to try and get a, one or two videos and maybe a marked up chart out this week um, just to stir up some content and stir up some discussion in the group um, so, you know, we can all get on the same page and, uh, and all start learning together and moving forward here because I'm really excited to get back to trading next week and uh, look for some new plays and take some profits off the table. So, that's what I got for the night. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Uh, and that's it. All right. Bye, guys.